drinking tea. Did they plan to die before they drank that tea? That was what I was saying this morning. We don't know the hour. We don't know the time. When our work we get finished. That's why the only thing we are going to take out of this world is our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Naked we came into this world and when we are called out to come yonder to give account, nothing we will take out of this world. Why is it that we allow the deception of this world to always get our attention? Knowing fully, fully whether we have a short time to live on the earth. Where we should, you know, aspire to get to is heaven. Where we will spend eternity or millions of millions of countable years before God if we make it. My desire is that everyone in this service today, you will make it. My desire is that the enemy will not corner you. My desire is that the desire of the enemy to take you away from the comfort of heaven shall not stand against you anymore in Jesus' name. And what am I saying as I'm thanking God for the leadership of this church and I thank you, my brother and my sister, that you make your way out here. In spite of the snow, you dug yourself out and you come. That shows that you, you love God. Amen. And I say you will not regret the hours you have come to spend this day before the presence of the Lord your maker in Jesus name. Um, what am I saying again? You know, November 16, 1991, you know, he called me to minister to people with crony problems to take, um, he said to take, he said, doctor, to take my word with power to the trouble and afflicted souls, trouble homes, you know, uh, widows, orphans, um, the poor and the needy. This is the mandate of God upon my life. I always say it everywhere I go. You know, if I'm called to emphasize on prosperity, that will be the area you will hear me speaking. But because this is my calling, people that have chronic problems, that is God's attention. That is the anointing He has placed over my, over my life. So, because when I was asking Him again, Lord, what do you want me to talk about? He said to me, He said, daughter. I want to heal the people this morning. Say, I want to heal people mentally. I say, oh, wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you get to, God is concerned about the total being of you. Your spirit, soul, and body being in soundness of health. And you get to what I'm saying? So he said he wants to heal people mentally. Wow, I say, wow, that was what I said. I said, wow, <laughs> so I cannot do otherwise than to flow with him so you can be blessed. Glory, hallelujah. And now, those of us that came for the first Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we were not many. But Wednesday, when I was closing the prayer, the Lord said that the prayer point for Wednesday, everybody pray it from 12 midnight, three nights. How many obey God? How many? Because pastor said he will what? Where is brother Kingsley? Pastor said he will because I told him, I give him the prayer point and I say copy, right? Send it to those of you that didn't come for prayer. Make sure because when God gives instruction it is your obedience that will bring God's own result. Amen? And do you know God gave me the instruction for you? I myself also prayed for myself. You know, I stand here as a vessel to be used for you. So whenever he's releasing to you, I have to apply it to myself. It's not automatically because, oh, I'm a prophetess. So God gave instruction to you people of God. I also, if I want to also share of what God wants to do, I also have to take my time and do exactly what I'm telling you to do that God has said you should do. So, and I decree again over you, for those of you that obey, that the reward of obedience, you begin to see the manifestation from today in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you praise. Now, without wasting our time, glory, hallelujah, 
when God say uh, the title of my message is healing for your mind healing for your mind most of the time we, sometimes we, we don't realize that our mindset you know our thoughts play a major role in our miracles and you get what I'm saying because when God speaks if you don't keep to your mind and keep going through what he has said you will not be ready as to position yourself to receive what God wants to do for you because God will not dump anything on you that you do not want amen many of us we say we need blessings but most of the times our attitude and our actions does not reflect or show that we are in dear need of what we are talking about that we stand in need of hallelujah so our four scriptures, we're going to go through some scriptures. Our four scriptures, the first one is going to come from Proverbs uh, 23, Proverbs 23, amen, verse 7. Proverbs 23, verse 7. Okay, you see it is on the screen. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. There, you see that there is ditto. You can just stop there and not continue. But the rest of the verses, eat and drink, say he to thee, but his heart is not with you. Don't concern yourself with the B part. It's the A part. Our focus is the first line, the first sentence. And see, think it in his heart, so is he. Which means you can never grow above your thinking you can never succeed above what you think of hello so uh, and you, you and that is why uh, all the battles that the enemy brings to us is in the area of our mind all the arrows the enemy throws at the children of God is in the mindset are you getting what I'm saying? You can sit down here now. Are you thinking of the presence of God as you are sitting right now? Only God and you know where your fo mind is focused, where your thoughts are right now. But as a man thinks in his heart, if you think you will fail, no matter how hard you read as a student, you will fail until in your mind you said that well whatever I thought I put in I cannot fail now you get what I'm saying for example I want to bring uh, <laughs> Trump president elect he said they interview him he said never he has never failed he never said <laughs> failure even when it was being shown that he was declining, going down, 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 and Hillary Clinton was rising in the poll, they would ask him again, oh, no? Failure? No? Ah, uh -uh. no. I don't accept failure. I have never failed. I can't fail. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? They came to him again. Tell us, will you consider to the result of the election? <laughs> Ah, he said to them, Oh, let the result come at first. Look, Trump is not a committed Christian, he doesn't read this Bible. But as he is thinking in his mind that it is impossible for him to fail, did he not get there now? Because when they interview him, he won't answer. He said, no, I'm not going to answer you. Failure? No, I don't fail. He said, I, I'm a fighter. Anybody attack me, attack them back. And he's still doing it now. He said, I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter. You fight me, I fight you double, double, double. <laughs> People say, what kind of a person is this? No, but the reason why he's succeeding in his business is his mindset. The way he thinks. He thinks that nothing is above him. And he thinks nothing is impossible to him. But you and I, we read that Bible, we fast, we pray. What are you doing your thinking? 
Are you getting one? Oh God, I, I, I miss it again. Where did I miss it? Your thoughts, your mindset. Hello? In the other way, in the other way, Hillary Clinton didn't have that mindset. Are you getting what I'm saying? She didn't have the mindset in the midst of stiff opposition and hatred. He will make it. She didn't have that. And she, she wasn't talking with confidence and boldness. If you think big, because that's what God said, I was, I was preparing. So some people, they think small. Hallelujah. That some people, the reason why they are not making it, because they think small. What are your thoughts? Are you always thinking about rejection? Thinking about disappointment? Thinking, well, yeah, I would like to, if I can barely make it. If you are all your mindset, if I can barely make it, then you will be struggling to make it. Because there is nothing that stops you and I from making it big. But our mindset. Let's look at Let's go to another scripture. <laughs> Let's look at Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. If you look at um, verse 2, because verse 1 talks about, beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the masters of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service but I fancy this is verse 2 and be not conformed to this word but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God renewing your mind. What will renew your mind is the word of God. Because the more worldly movie you watch, the more junks <laughs> and in your thoughts, and <laughs> you get what I'm saying, the more time you spend on your computer, <laughs> the more junks you know, are being you know, released into your conscious mind and your subconscious mind in whatever that have been downloaded like your computer into your subconscious mind even when you are not aware of anything you know your subconscious mind have a way of replaying back to your conscious mind and that's why you sit down you're not thinking of maybe a song you have sang years back, suddenly they keep humming up in your in yourself and say, oh, where is this one coming from? Nothing goes away from your thoughts and your mind. You may think you have pushed them aside. No. They are buried in your subconscious mind. When we delete them, every negativity you know, every when, when uh, you see people with low self-esteem, what is responsible is that maybe right from when you were growing up, people keep telling you, you can't make it, you are nobody, you are, you're going nowhere, and that soul that is stored up inside of you, and that is the mirror of yourself, you see, what we uh, delete everything is the more of the word of God you take in. You know, like that Colossians 3 16, let the word of Christ Jesus dwell richly inside of your heart. The more of the word of God you keep saying, reading aloud, and you get what I'm saying, then that is what will be what? Deleting, 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 deleting all those junk in your thoughts, in your mind that does not allow you to be best for God. You can make up your mind. How many people 
31st December 2015, you have your New Year resolution. Oh, come 2016. Lord, I want to be my best for you. I will read so soon about scripture. I will be at all services. I will pray. I will. How many of such of your 2016 New Year resolution you still maintaining and keeping right now? No. One week, two weeks into the year, <laughs> you forget about all that. Amen. As the life comes, we live it. Life goes on. You have to consistently, diligently be a lover of the word of God. That's the only way we can make it. Renewing of our mind through the written word of God. And also, this is logo, the written one, through Rema. Every word of promise God has given you you also have to read it daily. Renewing your mind. Because what you see, what you hear, affects, you know, your stand in, in believing and trusting that what God promised you is going to come to pass. Because situation will arise that will go contrary to what God said he would do. So, if all the promises of God, you don't read them daily. When the enemy create situation that will cause you to lose hope and give up on the promise of God. If you keep reading those promises, whatever you see, whatever is happening, you will still know that that cannot stand because the word of God is final. So renewing your mind. Let's again progress and go to Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Because in the word of God there is power in the name of Jesus every knee must bow. Every knee must bow in the word of God. Ha, yeah, yeah. The only thing the devil is afraid of is the word of God and the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Are you getting it? <laughs> so to really make it you have to continue to think about the goodness of God. How he came to die for us so we can make it. Ephesians chapter 4, let's look at verse 23. Ephesians 4. He said, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. What happened? Don't live in the past. The prayer for Wednesday was Lord, what was the prayer? The first prayer, Lord, deliver me, right? Help me to forget everything that is in the past, right? Because why people cannot move forward is because what is vividly in your thoughts and in your mind, if it is what defeat, failure, disappointment of the past. You keep thinking about 24-7. Even when God has brought your breakthrough, you can't break through and break forth because the stronghold of the past, the enemy has built in your thoughts and in your mind. And that brings stagnation. It brings retrogression. Instead of you to move forward, you'll be moving backward. And say, so what is going on with me? The problem is not with God. It has to do with the way you think. And if you can't let go of what has been done to you, pains, hurt, whatever, in the past, you cannot see what good things God is doing right now in your life. And unless you see it, you can't have it. Hallelujah. And what? And being renewed in the spirit of your mind. It still has to do with the word of God. Hello? And that's why you need to read the word of God aloud to yourself. Let your ears hear it. And let your spirit grasp it. 
so that your mind you know can be renewed hallelujah be, 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 be made for that from December from January 1st or December 11 you have not seen something tangible that will get you excited that does not mean from this moment forward to 31st December great mighty things don't find the miracles can still unfold in your life if you believe like last Sunday she's not the only one as, as the ocean came that tell them ask me only one thing that they will receive manifestation she prayed it and she saw manifestation because right then she believed are you getting what I'm saying even when she, where she, they say she was not qualified for any benefit because God has said it and she, and she obey she got godly resort that's the same way when God speak, pick it believe in it even if you have not seen the physical what God is saying but if you keep thinking about that word turning it up around in your mind, that is meditation you don't think of any other thing but that's what you keep thinking about before you know it in your dreams you begin to see what you are believing and if you begin to see it it's taking shape, it's taking form in your dream, you begin to dream of oh, what God said would do is happening it's a matter of this in the physical, it will manifest because if you see it with the eye of your spirit you will have it in the physical now every day that's what you hold to your thoughts. Every moment you begin to, Lord I thank you. Lord I bless you for this you are doing. Hallelujah. Glory. That, if the devil wants to say, why are you thanking God? What do you have to show for it? You will ignore that. Say, the Lord rebuke you Satan. I thank you Lord. I have what you said. Amen. We must renew as we are moving forward to 2017. So that from now to 2017, some people say, oh God, miracle 20. No, the miracle of 2016 you have not received. You must have them now because God created everything for us to enjoy. Amen. Including go ahead and word and sign mind. Sound mind is for us. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. He said, God has not given us you know, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Hallelujah. So many of us, all we think about is fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of tomorrow. Fear of will I live to see 2017? Oh, fear of will I be able to pay all my bills? Fear of will I not lose my head? Fear of, hallelujah. But look at that. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. It talks about you know, the arrows the enemy throws into where? Into people's smile. It will just, it's a suggestion. That's what you keep thinking about all the time. For you to go past that and think about the goodness of God is hard most of the time. Say, for God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of what? Of a sound mind. Sound to mind. Do you know it's part of the arrow of the enemy because he said he wants to heal a you know mental being. Healing for your mind. Is that the devil? What the devil? The arrow, the first shot, pim. Is unbelief. Pim. Fear. How about this? Look at you. The year is coming to an end. Eh? The same way you live last year, you see living. You call yourself a child of God. Do you think God is interested in blessing you? Those are the arrows to your thought. You are by yourself. All these things are flashing. Boom, 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 boom. And you are by yourself. And before you know, you start, ah, that is true. Eh? You look around you. Eh? That's true. Eh? No pay raise. Eh? Eh? Everybody got prom uh, promoted on my job. Eh? I didn't get any. Ah, that's true. What are you doing? You are accepting all those arrows. And the next level it will take you to, to begin to think about it. Before you know it, fear will be creeping. Fear will now follow. 
You will be afraid. Hey, hey, will I ever make it? What is going on with my life? When will I ever have breakthrough? When will people come and rejoice with me? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not say, now is my time and my hour? Trump. I would still talk about Trump. Because to us, this person is, what kind of a person is this? Jesus said that the children of this world, in Luke chapter 16, he said, in their generation, they are wiser than the children of light. Unbelievers. We look at the, all these unbelievers. But the Lord Jesus said, they are wiser than we, the children of light, the children of God. Are you getting it? Most of all, you don't want to take a risk. You don't, faith, living by faith is taking a step of, a risky step. You are risking everything because you don't know the next whatever, how you will get by the, get to the next level. You can't figure it out, but you believe you can. You can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens you. Which means you can also have all things God has for you through Christ Jesus. The wonderful miracle worker. It's not only strength that comes through Jesus. You can also assess all your blessings in the physical. Touch them, handle them through the power of Christ Jesus. His name is wonderful. Miracle working God. We can. If we think that we can. Yes. We can. Do our things. Whatever that is, whatever that is not against the will of God. You can have it. It is the will of God for all of us to pros prosper. You know. It is said in. Psalm 35. God takes pleasure in the prosperity of what? Of his saints. Of his servants. Huh? Are you not his saints? God takes pleasure. Which means when I'm struggling and I'm lacking, God is also not happy. He doesn't get pleasure when people are living a difficult suffering and sorrowful life. God is not being happy. He doesn't take joy when we are not making it. Now you get what I'm saying? So what brings joy and pleasure to God is when we are prospering. You know? Prospering physically, you know, financially, maritally, uh, educationally, maritally, business-wise, ministerially, and maritally. And then in our heads. And you get what I'm saying? Third John 2. Be, be love, you, you know, that we will work, prosper and be in health. Eh? Even as I uh, uh, prosper in life, I also you know, prosper health-wise. And that's why God is talking about he wants to heal you know, your mindset mentally. He, he wants you to prosper in your mindset. Now, some people they hear voices. Now you get what I'm saying? Why do people uh, get afraid sometimes? They, some people can be hearing right now. You're going to die now. You're going to die. I mean, you will die now. That is not coming from God. God is going to, you know, terrorize you with death. God will not whisper to you, you are going to die. That is not God. That is the enemy. What are they doing? That's what they want you to think about. To start to think about dying. And once you get to the level that you can't go past, past every moment you're thinking about, oh, dying, oh, I hope I, I will not die in 2016. I, I hope I, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the prayers we pray, Lord, delete my names from the list of those that will not make it to the end of 2016. One of the fasting, if you were here to pray, because the devil will already be suggesting to some people, are you sure you will, make, you will get to 2017? Are you sure? 
Don't you hear many people that have died? Don't you hear what happened to some people? Don't you see in the news? Didn't you uh, read in the newspaper? Didn't you listen to the radio? Don't you hear what they are saying about 2017? How are you going to make it? Satan is always fiddling with people's mindset. He doesn't have the power anymore. All powers in heaven and on earth be given to the Lord Jesus Christ. But in his gimmicks, in his cunningness and craftiness, he knows how to get people. Once he can drop one thought, he will go back and see how you play with that. <laughs> and if you are playing with it, he will bring another one. If you are playing with that, he will bring another one. Glory, hallelujah. The desire of God is for us to have what? Power, love, and what? A sound mind. A sound mind is a healthy mind. A sound mind is close to suggestions from the enemy. Any mind that is sound we not entertain negative thoughts. Because it's coming, pim. The one of God will arise inside of you to throw it out. Psalm 119. Say, your word have I hid in my heart. Verse 11, that I will not sin against you. Sinning against God is not believing God. If God promised you this year, you will make it, you will be well, everything will be well around you. You, you will testify, you have miracles. And then another thought is coming that is contrary to what God has said. If you have the enough word, you won't re attain the one coming from the enemy that is negative. You will keep saying what God has said. And the more you say it, that will push out what the devil is trying to put into your thoughts. To, to meditate upon. My brother, my sister. That was why the Lord said in Joshua 1, verse 8 to Joshua. He said, mm, This book of the law must not depart from your mouth. Day and night, you must what? Meditate. Which means you must think about it. And you turn it over and over in your mind. And you get what I'm saying? And the result is that he will have good sources and he will prosper. It's also in Psalm 1 verse 2. You meditate in the word of God day and night. So that you will live your life through all the different seasons with prosperity and joy. If the word of God is what you give attention to. Thinking about the word of God. Most of us, we think about what human beings say to us more than the word of God. Oh, somebody say, <laughs> somebody cannot make it. Why will you consider that? Every human being doesn't have the final say. Only God and the written word that is settled forever in heaven. Jesus said, the heavens and the earth Matthew 24 verse 35 Heaven and earth may pass away Not even a, a, a teacher or a daughter of his word Will go unfulfilled Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 Says that Flowers may fade away Grasses may wither But the word of God abides forever If somebody has said negative Against to you uh, You reject it right there and then you say, well, this is not for me. It will never happen. It can never happen. And more than that, this is what the word of God is saying about me. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above only and not beneath. And you get what I'm saying? So every, every cause is to put you under. And the word of God says, if you obey God, keep his commandment. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, you will be above only and not beneath. You will be the head and not the tail. So if anybody is placing a curse upon you to be the tail, to be under, the word of God has already come for that I'm above only. I cannot be beneath. I am the head. I cannot be the tail. And not only that, Jesus, it is written again, Revelation 5, verse 10. Christ Jesus, after he had redeemed us with his blood from all nation, every tongue, he has made us as kings. No, 
to our God. He has made us to be kings and prince unto our God. And we shall reign on the earth. So every word that negates you being an important person that will be in charge, that will reign and rule, is not from God. You reject it right then. You don't think about it. Hello? All we need to do, keep thinking about the word of God. They are not. They are not. So let me, okay, time is running. Let's look at um, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Because God wants us to think about his word. In Psalm 119, verse 1, he said, day and night, we must walk, meditate, think about the law of God, which is the word of God. Philippians 4, verse 8. No. These are the things God wants us to think about. Say, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true. That's not by one. God wants you to think about all the time things that are what that are true. Which means you yourself you must love to speak the truth and think about what is what is true. Whatsoever things that are what honest. Are you getting it? Hey, there is this God's general, one of the God's generals that live in the in the ninety, early ninety, whatever, that went up to build with the Lord, you know. <laughs> Smith Wigglesworth, the apostle of faith, who raised fourteen dead people back to life. It is written of him that in his house, if you want to come into his house, he will stand at the door and say, If you have newspaper, I will say, eh? Drop the newspaper outside. No lie, can come into his house. Say all the news in the newspaper, they don't tell the truth. It's all lies. Throughout his life, he never allowed newspaper to come into, into his house. Say they, all they are writing is junks and lies. That he does not want to feed his own soul with lies. And this was a man of God. He would study. When he read his Bible for some time, he would stop. 30 minutes, he will pray, he will go back. He will read 30 minutes again, he will pray 30 minutes, he will go back to, to, to the Bible. He was not even educated. And you get what I'm saying? For 14 dead people, including his own late wife, he raised back from the dead. Dead. Clinically dead people. How did he do it? He was always thinking about the word of God. As he was reading it, thinking about it. So he never had any failure. Hello. And he said one thing that people said it will never happen. He said in his life, no knife will touch his body. There was a time he was sick. He had a stone bladder. He was passing out stone. Do you need surgery? He said, no. You will die. He said they will see if he will die. He didn't die. He recovered from that. Are you getting what I'm saying? He said, no knife will touch his body in life and in death. When he went home to be with the Lord, they were thinking that, okay, when they want to do autopsy to find the cause of his death, at least they will cut his body. You know, he went for a service and that was where, you know, he slumbered and went home to be with the Lord. And then, they said, oh, no need for auto see. Knife did not touch his body while he was breathing and even after death. Because of his mindset, what he thinks about, all things are possible unto us if we believe and keep thinking about the goodness of God. You see, number two thing, whatever that is honest, and was so things that are just, whatsoever that's for just and justice, whatsoever things that are what pure, when you think about pure things, you're automatically there will be purity in your heart. Whatsoever things that are lovely. Okay. Whatsoever things that are lovely. 
don't think about things that are ugly. If you keep thinking about ugly stuff, <laughs> you can't pass through that stage. When you think about how lovely, when you see people, look for what is good in them. Don't look for the negative side. Think about things that are what lovely. See all the flowers, beautiful. God is beautiful. Every one of us, we are beautiful. We are of different heights, different sides, different shape, of different complexion. But that is, God is taking pleasure from all of us because if we all look alike, we have the same height. <laughs> that don't, you know, that the Lord who made us in his wisdom, every one of you and every one of us, including me, we are wonderfully and fearfully made in his image and after God's likeness. Think, always think about things that are lovely. Hello? Don't keep thinking about, oh, things that are ugly. Mm -mm. Think about things that are lovely always. Occupy your mind and your thoughts. Hallelujah. Whatsoever things are of good reports. You know, there are some things people are sending me on my WhatsApp, you know, like video. Some I don't even open. Some I open like this, I delete it. Why? I don't want to feed my eyes. So they want people to learn different kind of, you know, evils going out there. But I said, no, I don't want to be looking in the face. My, because your eyes are the windows to your soul. I don't want to be looking at horror, you know. So if you love watching horror movies, ha! are you getting what I'm saying? Okay, let me tell you, it, something happened in New York. That was 2013. A young man, how old? I don't know, teenage, young adult. Do you know? He lived in home in Long Island with the parents. In the night, he picked up the gun, killed the father and the mother, locked the door, dressed up, went to a party all night. And you get what I'm saying? He got off from the party, got back into the house. The parents were already dead. He didn't tell anybody. But by the time they discover, eventually he said he didn't do it, but you know, they will probe, they will see, discover. What made him do it? Horror movie! The horror movie he had been watching, how they are killing people physically. Now he now say he will practice it on his own parents. The more he started to watch the horror movie, his thoughts had been captured. He had no other desire now to carry other than to carry out what he had saw in the horror movie. That's why be careful what you watch. Liberty without restraint brings chaos. We are free in Christ Jesus, but there must still be some restraint and limitation. Don't use your liberty and occasion to fail and fall, to sin. Your thoughts. How can you not have compassion on your parents? But she was, he was taken over with the passion to kill that it didn't matter to him whether they were his parents. I mean, imagine that kind of wickedness because of his thoughts have been taken over by demons of murder through horror movie. Somebody will say, leave me alone, I can watch any movie. Is your mindset strong enough to handle what you are seeing that it will not replay back to you when you are by yourself? It's the man came playing back to him that he saw. And he couldn't go through. He couldn't, he could not go past his thoughts until he did it. Therefore, the life, I don't even know what happened. But if he doesn't go for that, he will spend the rest of his life in jail. So is that life now? Hello? God wants to heal our mindset. Whatsoever that is 
of good report. Then, if there be any virtue, virtue talks about power. What you should think always that I love to do. See, if you look at Exodus, where God really display how mighty He is, you saw Him. Okay, raise the rod, strike it, something will happen. Oh, go near the river, strike the rod. What? Oh, frogs, we feel all over. Frog came. Strike, oh, all the water became blood. And then, John 2, Jesus turned water into wine. In, in Egypt, God turned water of all the rivers in the land of Egypt into blood. That's the thing I want to think about. Virtue. Power of God in display. How did you do it, O oh God? You divided the Red Sea without any human effort. How did you do it, O oh God? You swept the river Jordan to one side without any human effort. No, how did you do it? You put down the wall of Jericho without any mechanical whatever, bulldozer. How did you do it? That's what I want to think about. That's what you should think about. If there be virtue, me, if there be display of the power of God in exhibiting his mightiness. And last Sunday, the children of Judah, they marched to war front, but did they, they didn't throw stone. They do use any sword. Before they got to the enemy, God had finished all their enemies. That's the, things, uh, that's the kind of power I want to think about. How did water become wine? No. How did you would just say, oh, oh, that I may have my sight? And you say, okay, receive your sight. And the eyes open. Those are the things I want to keep thinking about. Somebody just with nowhere, from nowhere, you know, God did something, pim. You know, like 2014 uh, in. Uh, in Columbus, Mississippi, you know, simple obedience. Come and put money in the hand of your uh, visionaire every Sunday as they were doing it. Th those of them that were homeless, God, one of them got a, a big house. Two, two weeks after, a big house. Those have been looking for a job. Get a better job. A be That's what I want to think about. Lord, how are you doing your stuff? Are you getting what I'm saying? our mindset the way we think because in the spirit realm thought is action Jesus said if you talk think lustfully about anyone in your heart concerning a married person you have already committed adultery what do you think about Is your thinking pattern when you are by yourself? Is it the thought of defeat? Failure? Is it the thought of rejection? How miserable you are? Is it the thought of helplessness? In hopelessness? As he said, he wants to heal. Mindset, mental being, this money truly for us to be able to receive all that has been prepared for us, we need a brand new mindset. The mindset of the Lord Jesus. Ability to believe all good things coming to us. Nobody is going to do it for you. Salvation is individual, cannot be transferred. Also your blessings are personal. No one can receive your blessing for you. Somebody can bless you, but the bulk of your real blessing, nobody else can get it to you. And that's why we need our thought to be overhauled this morning. Spend time reading the word of God for yourself. Spend time to think about the word of God all the time. Spend time thinking about the mightiness of God. There is no impossibility with God. But not with us. For with God all things are possible. Not few things, not many things. Now finally in closing because we'll be going into administration now. There was this young bro brother in Nigeria who went to medical school. 
his first year in medical school, he was his mindset was afflicted by the enemy. So he will be in class. Suddenly, you will be thinking things are moving all over his body. That's how he will express himself. Hospital could not help him. They didn't find solution. Before you know it, they say, oh, he's insane. He's mentally derailed. No solution. He has to withdraw from medical school. Was home. Nobody. Nobody pray him. Nobody lay hand for deliverance. One day he picked the Bible. He started to read aloud. Day and night. 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 That was how he got his deliverance. He's doing well in life now. The power of God is in the word of God. That's what is doing the work of God. The word of God. You got to believe it. You got to make time out for the word of God. Read it aloud. You can read it meditatively fine. But one thing I want to let you know that this world and the walls of your home, your job, wherever you go, has ears. When you read it aloud, everything around you are hearing the word of God. If Balaam's donkey can speak, Balaam's donkey hear the human conversation. Only he couldn't speak until God opened Balaam's donkey's mouth and he spoke like human being. That's to show you the animals they hear. They hear what we say. Everything has ear to hear. Even the earth, the ground can hear. The atmosphere, the air can hear. Why did Jesus say, the disciples say, Jesus, don't you care? We are sinking in this boat. And you are sleeping, Lord Jesus. Don't you care that we are about to perish? What did Jesus say? The Bible said he rebuked the wind and the sea. So the wind has ear to hear. He said, peace be still. Because the wind and the sea have ear to hear. Every situation around you can hear. What are you saying? Is it the negativity you keep thinking about? That's why you can't change your situation. First John chapter 4, little children, be a good chair. For you have overcome the world. For greater is he that is in you than him that is in the world. What happens to the greater one that is inside of you? You are not making use, but you pay attention to what the enemy is saying. What is feeding into your mind and your thoughts. But today, because this is the service where God wants to hear you know, mental, whatever. An end has come to your enemy. God is preparing you. So everything that has not been able to get to you, as God keep releasing, all your hanging blessings, they must come down. Because you have to agree in your mindset that you qualify to receive God's blessing. You qualify to live a, a quality life. You qualify for God's comfort. You qualify to live a life of ease. Without stress. You qualify. See Jesus there on the cross. Hello. God is rich enough to bless all of us. Hello. Hallelujah. Now, like the Lord said to me, He said that somebody you quarrel, somebody you have a quarrel with some, someone. And that is affecting your mind. You quarrel with somebody. And you can't go past in your thinking and your thought anymore from what happened in that quarrel. Maybe what the person said, you know, to you, you have to let go, release and forgive that person. So God will touch your mindset and bring healing in the name of Jesus.
And then number two, the Lord said to me, there are some people in the service, you thinking small, your thinking is so small, which means you, when you think about yourself and the family you come from, so you is that uh, nobody has ever, you know, make it big in your family. So you don't see how you can make it <laughs> great in your family. And the Lord said, let to tell you this day, think big. If nobody has ever made it in a big way in your family, why not you be the first one that will start greatness? In living big in your family. Why not you? Why not desire? If nobody has ever achieved anything substantive in my family, I will be the first. Is there anything wrong with you being the first? Hello? So which means if God is talking, you know who you are? It means God has great stuff. Great things prepare for you, but you cannot receive if you still thinking in this pattern. Nobody has ever made it in my family. So even what I have now, I thank you. No, yeah, it's good to thank him for where you are, but thank him for greater than what you see now. Because there is no limit to how far God can raise us or lift us up or bless us. Are you getting what I'm saying? You know, yeah, we talk about the devil, but most of the time we play into the devil's net. When he throw one suggestion, you know, you receive it, and then that's the only thing you think about. No. That's the way he's putting people under. So whoever it is in this service, he called Obaba, that you limited yourself in your thoughts that because you come from a family where great things have never taken place and you don't see how it will happen for you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the, the mind of Christ Jesus be given to you now. That the blood of Jesus deliver from your mindset. That my, mindset of that belittle or, or belittle man that does not allow you to go and desire to be great. This day, the Lord Jesus, the power of Christ Jesus, set your, mind free, your mindset free from thinking small in the name of Jesus. There is no sin in thinking big. But don't allow pride. The only thing that God hates is pride. But to, to live large is nothing wrong with it. To make it, there is nothing wrong with it. Because the Bible says God has created all things for us to enjoy. Amen. And that is that. And I also heard that, you no know, pastors, you have stopped dreaming big about this church. Say, pastors in this church, you have, you had, he said it, had, had, stopped dreaming big about Wind and Fire Church. So, from today, what is the dream? In your mindset, you begin to imagine your imagination. This place being too small for you. Have you get what I'm saying? But you don't look at oh, look at this session. Look at no, because God of all flesh, He, he does not cause Him 24 hours to bring souls. But begin to dream big and see this place too small to take you. That's when the people will begin to rush in. Amen. Dream big about this church before God. When you sit down, when you are walking, everywhere you go, ah, Lord, I thank you. God, God has said it. This is the church of Rochester. This is the church of this town. So it is not, the way God is in this church, this is not what God is seeing. You must see with the eye of God that this is the church of Rochester. Glory, hallelujah. This, this word that came for you, it came for the woman of God when I was in Columbus. 
as the one was coming out, know what she said? Oh no! Ah, what about the other pastors in this city? <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> it's not my word. You can receive it or reject it. But on the last day, you will give account. If God said, I raise you up to be a pillar, even for the uh, uh, pillars for other churches in this church, if God said, he said, the last shall become first, and the first shall become last. If God said, okay, even though you are just 30, some churches have been here 20 years, and God will raise you above them, and set you upon the top of the mountain of the mountains, and you don't want, it's your choice. Hello? Let's dream big for your personal life 2017 have a picture of how big you want God to make you you can buy your dream home you can ride that no car you, you, can, you, you can be part of that team you desire to be you, 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 I mean you, you can get married you can, you can financially be, be, turn around and you will be, you'll be a pillar for your family and everybody you can God is not going to borrow to bless you. Can we rise? This is the word of God. As a man, as a woman, think in his or her heart. We put limitation to how far God can bless us. Through our thoughts. Through our, our thoughts. The way you think. What do you imagine? No, most of the people that go and clock the time. Everywhere I can hear them. If once I'm able to pay my bills. I'm okay. No. God did not create you to service bees. He created you to be blessed. And become a blessing unto others. No, say I'm satisfied. Once I, I'm, I can go by where, yeah, I'm okay. No, Lord, bless me so I can be a blessing unto others. And He can for the remaining days to the end of 2016. God can for you. He can come through for you. Doors can be open. Money can come from where you least expect. Favor, favor can showcase you. Favor can speak for you. Favor can turn things around for you. Are you kidding me? Psalm 16. He said, I have said the Lord before me. He is at my right hand. Therefore, I shall not be moved. What do you set at your right hand? Is it problems you think about? Is it failure and disappointment? Is it rejection you have set at your right hand? No. David said, I have set the Lord at my right hand. And I shall not be moved. Every day I am blessed and highly favored. That's what should be coming out of your mouth. I am blessed and highly favored. I am making it not just anyhow. I'm making it good. I'm making it big. Because I am the head and not the tail. I'm above all and you no, know, and I'm not beneath. I'm not a borrower. I'm a lender unto nations. That is what God has said concerning us. Even if you have debt, keep saying no. <laughs> I'm not a borrower. I'm a lender. I'm, even though I, I have a, you know, I have borrowed before, you said that to yourself. No more will I borrow again because right now I'm a lender unto nations. The more you say it, the more you get it. Glory, hallelujah. The mindset, renewing our mindset, renewing the spirit of our mind. It's we come with the word of God. Hallelujah. So right now, Ikoroba, who is that person that quarrel with someone? Ikoroba, baba, baba. You had a quarrel with somebody. I'm not saying come out. I just want to lift your hand to heaven. So that that joke of whatever happened that you can't get it off your minds and your thoughts. I just want to do the prayer for you. Who is that person? He Baba. Baba. Yes. Okay. Come, lift your hands to whoever. Everybody close your eyes please. Lord I thank you. Because you reveal to redeem. 
Thank you, O Lord, for this service. Father, every altercation, every argument, every contention, every quarreling, they are giving birth to negativity in the mindset of your people that they cannot think beyond the offenses that came from the quarreling. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I command the yokes be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. I command by the power and the authority that is in Christ Jesus. Satan, you cannot be the strong against their thoughts concerning the quarreling and the issue that leads to altercation and everything. Right now, Satan, I command you, lose your hold over their thoughts. Lose your grip over their mindset in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus, yes, into your mindset right now. Receiving the power and the life that is in the blood of Jesus, let it flow to your conscious and subconscious mind. Let it destroy yokes of offenses that came as a result of your quarreling. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare be set free. Your mindset be free now by the power of Christ Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I command your mindset to receive freedom in the name of Jesus. I ask that the mindset of the Lord Jesus Christ be given to you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Is there anybody here? You know, you have problem with, you do hear voices. Don't be ashamed of that. You have to step forward, come to the altar. You call Baba Baba. Ba. God wants to heal mental being. When you are by yourself, you keep receiving negative thoughts. Who is that person? You have negative thoughts keep coming to your mindset. Don't be ashamed. God want to hear you. That's the reason for this service. Step forward. God bless you, my dear. Step forward. Who again? Nikoro Baba. Step forward. Come to the altar, my dear. Come to the altar. Can you go on your knees? Hallelujah. Yeah. Nikoro Baba Baba Baba. If you are in that category, please come before the prayer is said for her. Father, I thank you. Don't join your hands, my, my dear. God bless you. In the name above all other names, by the power of the, by the power of Christ Jesus, I come against you. Ikoroba Satan. Ikoroba Baba. In the name of Jesus, lose your hold over her mindset right now. In the name of Jesus, you demonic spirit that whisper. Ikoroba Baba. That whisper and murmur into her ears. Every negativity. By the life in the, and the power in Christ Jesus. I command you desist in your maneuvers. Stop now in your pressures against her. Go far away from her forever. I command every curse. Over your life be broken now. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus to flow into your mindset into your spiritual ears. That from today, Jesus said in John chapter 10, my sheep, they know my voice. The voice of a stranger, they will not follow. From today, I decree the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ only you will hear in the name of Jesus. You will not hear the voices of strangers anymore. Be loose. Aha, yes, yes. Be loose. May the power of Christ Jesus be loose. Your mindset be loose. Be free. Everything. Everything the enemy program into your thoughts. I command your spirit and your mind be loose from all evil. The enemy have programmed into your thoughts by the blood of Jesus. Be loose. You can't do it. I can't. Be loose, be loose, be loose, be loose. May the finger of God be loose. May the power of Christ Jesus 
be loosed by the life and the power and the blood of Jesus. Be loosed by the word of God. Now say, sir, whosoever the Son of God, Jesus Christ, set free, is free indeed. Be loosed by the word of God. He called as it is written in John 8 36, whosoever that the Son of God set free shall be free indeed. You are free in Koruba by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. You are loose from all evil, the enemy program into your thoughts. In Koruba, you are free in Koruba from today. Begin to think about things that are pure, lovely. In Koruba, Baba. Things that are honest, things that are true, things that are just, or good report, things of virtue, of God's power and God's abilities. Those are the things you begin to think about from today. I command your mindset be healed and receive the sound mind by the power of Christ Jesus. Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory, O God. In Jesus' name. For those of us, place your hand in your in your you know, your mindset. You pray, Father God, I lose myself by your grace and your power from all evil the enemy programmed into my thoughts. I lose myself, spirit, soul, and body from all the evils and negativities the enemy are programmed into my thoughts in the name of Jesus enemy you will no longer prosper all the negativity you are programmed into my thoughts from today the power of Christ Jesus the son of the living God has set me free I'm loose from all evil that are programmed into my thoughts by the blood of Jesus. Pray it now. Pray it. Pray it. The service is about God healing your mental pain. He could giving you a sound mind. Free you from everything that limits you in your thoughts. You are loose. Pray it. You are loose. From every thought of limitation, thought of failure, eco, thought of hardship, difficulties, eco, roba, baba, baba, eco, raba, baba, eco, tabra, ah, yeah, 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 thought of being under, you are loose from every thought of belittle men, eco, roba, baba, baba, the thought of naughtiness. Ikoroba, lose yourself. Ikoroba, baba, from thought of non-achievement. Ikoroba, baba, baba, pray. Ikoto, brevetinga, ba. When you are by yourself, lose yourself from every thought of fear. Ikoroba, baba, God has not given us the spirit of fear. He has given us the spirit of of power of love and of a sound man. Lose yourself from all thoughts of fear. He thoughts of the unknown. Thought of tomorrow. Thought of the past. Uh, fear of the past. Be loose. May the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Can you lift your hands to God now? Because there is no limit. Mm, there is no limit. We are God. There is no limit. We are Savior. Our God is able to do exceedingly. Our God is able to do abundantly. Hallelujah. There is no limit. With a God, there is no limit. With a Savior, a God is able to do exceedingly. A God is able to do abundantly. You want to pray now? Every thought of limitation. 
every thought that allowed you to belittle yourself because of your circumstances and situation. What you see now is not final. Even if you have failed before, failure is not final. Pray. You begin to refuse every thought of belittlement. Every thought that gives you low self-esteem. Every thought that have not allowed you to be who God created you to be begin to pray now there is no limit to how far God can advance you there is no limit to how far God will progress you there is no limit to how large God can make your life to be ah praise <laughs> pray Aya Sata. pray if Joseph from prison became a prime minister if David a shepherd boy became a king how about you. Your past has nothing to do with your future. Your past has nothing to do with your present and your future. If Joseph can come out of the prison to palace, if David shepherd boy can be on the throne as a king, how about you? God is, is able, is more than able to make you into whom he created you to be. Ah, believe, trust God. Begin to think big. Tell the Lord today, from today, oh Lord, I receive your grace to think big. Think big towards myself. Think big about my life. Think larger. Think about success and victory. And Lord, help me to think by moving, moving forward, moving upward. Ikarababa, excelling in your academics, be on honor's road, gain scholarship to go to college, pay your mortgages with ease, pay your bills and your candles sometime, and having surplus to give to others. That is the life he created for you to live. Oh, pray, Lord Abraham, I receive your grace to think big. I receive your grace so long, uh, to desire to be big. I receive, oh God, your grace. Uh, to have a great life uh, and live it in purity and holiness. Uh, some people are afraid if I have it, what will I lose my salvation? Joseph was large. He did not forget God in Egypt. Uh, David, uh, he called by man after God's own ass. He called by pray. You can make it huh, and still love God. Don't limit God in your life. Don't limit God. There is no limit. There is no limit. To how far God can raise you up. To how large God can take you. Yes, you can have it. Through Christ Jesus. Your desire can be met. Between 31st December, there can be great testimony and you can get that job. You can get married even before the end of this year. The only two, three weeks to the end of the year, God can make it happen for you. Oh, think bigger. Think bigger. And imagine great things coming to your life. Expect your miracles. Hey, think about your great miracles. Think about the fulfillment of the promises of God. That is what you should begin to think about. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you glory. I bless you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we give you praise. Now, finally, put your hand on your head. This will be the last prayer. Hallelujah. Believe that the hand of God is coming upon you now the hand of the Lord who said I have come to heal uh, mental beings your mental beings hallelujah hallelujah Lord I thank you Lord I thank you for this service you brought your people into your presence so they can be healed 
and as many that will listen to all these services, all these messages, the same power of God that is touching the people of God right now will also reach out to you. If you believe, have faith. Iko robaba, no more. The enemy limiting you. Iko robaba and your blessings through your thoughts. No more. The enemy using you against yourself to receive your blessing. No more. From today, I decree and I declare the hand of God come upon you. Iko robaba afresh with power with fire in the name of Jesus uh, that your conscious and subconscious mind, your intellect and your imagination receive the power of God right now in the name of Jesus and I command uh, by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ that yokes of limitations in your thoughts, yokes of evil thoughts, negative thoughts over your life, be destroyed now, in the name of Jesus, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, by the reason of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, by the word of God, from today, you are loose and set free, totally, from all the evils, the enemy are programmed into your thoughts, they are placed by Maria, <laughs> limitation, blockages into your life and your blessings. Christ Jesus has come to make you free and to heal your mindset, your thoughts, your imagination, and your intellect. Receive the healing power of Christ Jesus. I command you to receive a sound mind right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. <laughs> sound mind Lord I give you praise Lord I give you glory Lord I worship you Lord I magnify you Lord I adore you be exalted O God for this Sabbath it shall be permanent I command the seal of God to come upon what God is doing for you right now. The seal of the Almighty God come upon your deliverance and your healing the seal of Jehovah God the immortality that dwells in unapproachable light. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Lord God of the earth of the earth is the one touching you right now. Let his seal be permanent over your mindset, over your thoughts, over your imagination, over your intellect. From today, every ikarababa, every thought that always exalt themselves against the knowledge of God in your life they are broken in the name of Jesus and they are destroyed by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ let the light of God shine into your mind into your conscious and subconscious mind let the light of God shine greatly to your imagination and to your intellect in the name of Jesus move forward and possess all your possessions in the land of the living in Jesus name the Lord bless you. Amen. Father, we receive this word with thanksgiving and praise to your name. Thank you. Thank you because that is what you are the one that knows what we need. And you have given us that which we need. Thank you for using your daughter, O oh God, as a vessel that has released your word. Lord in heaven, refresh her rejuvenate her, encourage her to continue in this might. Lord in heaven, she also will be fulfilled according to your word. We know that you have used her, O oh God, to bless us. Bless her mightily. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Before you go, this is a thing that came to my mind. I want you to sow a seed. It doesn't matter the amount. If you have $100 or $200 or uh, $1 or whatever, be faithful. She is going back to tomorrow, but based on the word we have heard. Because the Bible says that he that waters shall himself be watered. So let's water her and key into this blessing accordingly. Amen. Can I get the offering back? Please. Don't worry, Pastor. Chris is getting something. If you want to write a check, her name, her spelling is uh, Prophetess Juliana. Last name is A G B I. And this kind of giving, you are not uh, looking for tax return. 
you are looking for heaven's returns. A G B I Agbi. That's the pronunciation. A G B I B as a boy I. 